everybody. Welcome back to Covers and Commentary, and welcome back to another episode of Drummer Reacts. And today we are listening to a drum cover from an artist here on YouTube named Toryu, I believe. Uh, there's some Japanese in front of it. I'm not sure what it means. But uh, I had actually seen some of his stuff before, um, specifically his cover for the first opening of Spy Family. But this one came across my, uh, my feed here because I've been trying to figure out or trying to to piece together my own way of playing the Tot Musica song that Otto did for the One Piece film and as much as I love playing rock as much as I love playing you know all different kinds of styles of drums uh, musically I struggle with sort of the orchestral pseudo tribal style beat that they used in that song and I haven't really been able to piece together how to play it on a kit but apparently this guy has and so uh, I'm gonna listen to this and see maybe if I can take some inspiration from how he played it or uh, things like that and hopefully maybe get a cover or uh, I don't know we'll see but uh, yeah this was uh, this caught my interest because I haven't been able to piece together a way to play it on the drums and he has so let's see what he's done and give it a listen yeah. Yeah, so I've gotten this, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's an electric kit with triggers, it looks like. Yeah. See, like, I can get through this part. It's coming up where I just don't have a beat. Oh. Interesting. So he's... So the integration they've got going with the snare, the china symbol, and adding some double bass in there, too. Some, so he's got triplets to fill in the space on the double bass, and then he's using the the main like accenting hit is happening between the snare and the china symbol. Hmm. Interesting. What do we got for the chorus? Okay. Oh, wow. All right, so... Going with a intense tribal beat. So he's still keeping the accents between the hi-hat, or the hi-hat, I keep saying hi-hat, the accents between the snare drum and the china cymbal, but he's also, he added some bell in there for a certain part, and then he's using the crash ride, but he basically just, instead of leaving gaps for that do 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 da kind of thing, he's just keeping it always on the toms, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, here. Interesting. I never thought to do it this way, which is kind of cool. I mean, obviously, I didn't think to do it this way because I haven't done it. Okay, rounding it off with a little hi-hat hi -hat slap there. I like it. Yeah, playing more with this. Play more with the snare drum and then adding that hi hat at the end. I like it. Hmm. 
Okay. I almost, I almost like that hi hat bit he did more than the toms. Yeah, he's he's like playing with the accents on the hi hat, so he's keeping the he's keeping sixteenths, but he's got a he's got more of a like like he's using the accents really cleverly. And then he goes into the toms again, same beat as the opening. And a bit of a cymbal swell. Oh, I didn't know that you could... Okay, I guess Roland's. This is one of the reasons I don't like electric kits is because some stuff is just a pain in the butt um, to to adjust for compared to an acoustic kit. But I guess these Roland symbols you can choke just like uh, we watched Ellis Depardieu's uh, video about a, an electric kit where you could do that as well. So that's cool. I mean, electric kits have come a long way. It looks like he's using an electric snare, some electric symbol, uh, all electric symbols, and then the toms look like they're just mesh tom skins on acoustic toms with triggers on them, which is kind of cool. That cymbal swell is kind of nice. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Back to what we were playing earlier. Oh, he's got a an electric bass drum as well. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, of course, you got the little cymbal flips or drumstick flips. Oh. So he's got the regular beat. He's okay. Because one of my things when I was trying to like put together a beat for this, I wanted to keep it from sounding too repetitive. He's definitely not. It's definitely not repetitive for like in what in terms of what he's doing. It's not repetitive, uh, but it, it is consistent, which is nice. With the little, you know, coming towards the end of the second uh, chorus here, getting those extra little cymbal hits to add a little bit of difference to it. I like that, but I didn't think to do a traditional just hi-hat snare bass drum beat for the for the final portion of the song that's pretty cool and he's letting the he's letting the song breathe he's got that cymbal hit and he's letting it like you know letting it breathe and then next and then boom hit letting it breathe boom and he's accenting he's basically tail ending or not tail ending book ending each of these breaks and beginnings with a cymbal hit, which is kind of cool. Still using that double bass, I like it. Huh. I didn't think to do it that way, obviously, but that's, huh. I mean, it's definitely given me some inspiration on stuff that I could potentially do. I just, I suck at making tribal beats is the problem. I'm really bad at it, and he's definitely got, got a leg up on me on that one. Uh, <laughs> that really fit the tone, though. It didn't feel out of place, which is pretty, pretty cool, so. I don't know. I have some thinking to do. I have some thinking to do. Uh, if y'all want to watch this video the whole way through without me talking, of course, I'm going to link it down below along with uh, uh, Toru. 
Go ahead and check out this stuff. He's got some great covers on here. This one just happened to be one that I latched on to because of the songs I've been trying to play. But pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. He's got some incredible stuff, though. So go check that out, definitely, in the description down below. And if you like this video, definitely give it a like. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss other content like it. And uh, aside from that, that is it. I got nothing more to say. So thank you all so much for being here. I, uh, I hope to see you all in the next video. And uh, until then... Thanks again for being here and have a good one.